This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Moses Lake Police have released body cam video of an early Saturday morning assault on two officers. Republic Police Chief Lauren Culp has announced his intent to run for the seat of governor in Washington state. A handful of area Vietnam veterans were honored Monday afternoon in Moses Lake during a pinning ceremony hosted by Representative Dan Newhouse. The construction of the new Quincy High School brought with it all brand new athletic facilities. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Moses Lake Police have released body cam video of an early Saturday morning assault on two officers. Three suspects were arrested following the fight outside a home on West Ivy Street, including Miguel Perez and Robert Reasonable for third degree assault and obstruction, and Alejandro Sorares for second degree assault and obstruction. Moses Lake Police initially responded just before 2 a.m. to a bar on West Broadway Avenue following a reported disturbance. Police say a vehicle driven by Sorares took off at a high rate of speed out of the parking lot. An officer caught up to the vehicle on Ivy Street where Sorares and his passengers were reportedly uncooperative and tried to enter the residence. Body cam video shows Officer Nick Stewart attempting to arrest the driver when a group exits the house and approaches. A second officer arrives and tries to hold back the crowd when he was reportedly charged at by Reasonable, who was then taken to the ground. Police say Perez then snuck up behind an officer and punched him in the back of the head. During the fight, Officer Stewart let go of Sorares to help the other officers when Sorares allegedly hit Stewart in the back with a beer bottle and fled the scene. Stewart was able to remotely release K-9 Chief from his patrol vehicle and Chief then bit Perez in the side, putting an end to the fight. Sorares was later tracked down to Rain's Food Mart on Broadway Avenue about 6 a.m. Saturday, where he initially resisted arrest before being taken into custody. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The Low Profile Microwave Hood Combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at More Furniture in Ephrata. Republic Police Chief Lauren Culp has announced his intent to run for the seat of governor in Washington state. Culp officially filed his campaign with the Public Disclosure Commission on July 19th, joining three others who have already officialized their bid for the office, including incumbent Jay Inslee, who is also vying for the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. The top lawman in the small Ferry County town of just over 1,000 residents garnered national notoriety after becoming the first law enforcement official in the Evergreen State who publicly refused to follow the directives of Initiative 1639, a gun control law passed by voters in Washington last November. Since taking his stance, Culp has gained a loyal following within the Second Amendment rights community and penned a book entitled American Cop, in which he outlines his own beliefs of the public's right to bear arms. Culp has already launched a website devoted to his candidacy where he touts his merits as a civil servant and military veteran and breaks down the issues he intends to focus upon, including mental health, citizen liberties, and taxes. His official campaign slogan is Send Common Sense to Olympia. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. A handful of area Vietnam veterans were honored Monday afternoon in Moses Lake during a pinning ceremony hosted by Representative Dan Newhouse. The ceremony, which took place at the American Legion Post 209, was held in partnership with the Vietnam War 50th Commemoration. It's, it's truly an honor to be here with you today, i got to say. 
It really is. Um, what we're doing here today, I hope you agree with me, is something that's special. Um, as all of you know, uh, it's been give or take which year you want to use, but we are, in the, as a country, celebrating, commemorating, remembering uh, 50 years since the Vietnam War. So this is an effort to recognize those men and women who served our country during that period, to be certain that that recognition is received. One by one, each veteran was presented with a certificate of special congressional recognition and a Vietnam veteran lapel pin, which Newhouse pinned to the shirt of each veteran. So it's truly an honor for me to be associated with this effort and to bestow upon you what I would say is the, the gratitude, the respect, and the thanks of what truly is, I believe, a grateful nation. Newhouse is also hosting pinning ceremonies on August 22nd in Okanagan and November 8th in Sunnyside. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. The construction of the new Quincy High School brought with it all brand new athletic facilities. Quincy Jack fans will begin a new game day experience this fall when the Jacks break in their new football stadium on Friday, September 13th against the Brewster Bears. The new stadium has several updated features that both fans and the players will enjoy. The biggest change is the field itself, which is no longer grass but turf. The turf field makes it a nicer surface to run on and navigate as an athlete and it's easier to maintain for the school. Another new feature, one the fans will surely enjoy, is a video scoreboard. The cutting edge scoreboard is no longer lit up by individual light bulbs with a TV screen, which will provide a much cleaner appearance to the score and the other game information. The Jacks have played the Bears three times since the turn of the decade in 2012 and 2013, and then again last season in 2018. The Jacks have won all three of those games, outscoring the Bears 109 to 34 in those contests. The Jacks only have three home games on the schedule this season the 13th against the Bears, September 27th against Othello, and October 18th against East Valley of Yakima. I'm Adam Chikoski, Fry Fiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.